we are continue we completed up to 1.1.19 uh, 1.19 that first chapter first section 19 shlokas we completed so far so yama dharmaraya is asking he is pleased with nachiketa in the for the second boon and he has blessed nachiketa the yadna which you do will have your own name nachiketa agni so this is something like in science there is a raman effect Okay, there is something called Newton's law. When Newton discovered, in his honor, the name was given to that law. When Raman discovered some diffraction principle, C. V. Raman, he got a Nobel Prize, and his principle was given that name. So in Vedas, Nachiketa's name is given for this Yadna, which will help you to go to Brahma Loka. It's called Brahm. It's called. It's a. It's a. It's a Upasana. So that name is given. So. Yama Dharmaraya asking Nachiketa, uh, giving a broom to Nachiketa, that your name will become immortal because of this Vidya. Here, I am pleased with your discipleship and this Vidya will have your name. That's what it told. Now, ask the third boon. So Nachiketa asks the third boon. Repeat with me. Mayam. प्रेते प्रेते विकित्सिता मनुष्या अस्तिके नायम अस्तिति चैके ये तत् विद्याम अनुशिष्ट स्वयाहम वराणमेशम वरस्त्रतियो नचिकेता बोस डाउन तू द फीट ऑफ मास्टर यमदर मराया, ओ मास्टर, मैयम प्रेतीय विचिकित्सा, ओ मास्टर, I have heard that, I have heard that soul सर्व, the the self survives after death, this is somebody says, somebody else says the soul doesn't survive, somebody else says soul doesn't, the आत्मा doesn't exist. Okay. This is the opinion of different people. O oh Lord of Death, you are the right master to tell me what is, give me correct information, what happens to the soul after, what happens to the Atma after death. So this is the question. Okay. And this is my third boon. Please grant me the third boon. So at the outset immediately I may ask, what is this third boon? The people, some people say there is no nothing, no life after death. So some people say there is a life after death. Okay. The Nachiketa cannot ask this question because he is already dead and he is living <laughs> in front of everyone. Right? Nachiketa is already dead. And he has come to Yamaloka and he knows he is there. So why should he ask a question about what happens after death? So the question has a deeper meaning. The question is about the ultimate death, <laughs> not about temporary deaths. <laughs> okay. Not about temporary deaths. It's about ultimate death. What is that ultimate death? The final death. That question is asking. Okay. So when people say somebody died, the soul goes to some other place. Soul with the mind. Okay. Actually the mind. Mind goes from one body to other body. Seeking another body. Creating another body. The body is lying there and the Atma never dies, the self never dies, self is never born. So what travels from one body to other body is the mind. The mind is called Jiva, mind powered by consciousness called Jiva. Okay. So the mind will keep creating new bodies. It is the mind which drives your life. 
okay i want this i don't want this i am happy i am not happy it's a mind so after your death the mind with the power of consciousness moves to some other place power of consciousness called chidavasa the mind moves there the atma never moves anywhere okay who travels one body to other body he is the mind claiming that you are the you are you claiming the atma mind says i am the atma <laughs> it gets the power from atma but mind claims i am okay it is a thought which goes from one body to other body there are millions of bodies you have gone through birth and death and birth and death happens when the mind takes one body the body dies when the mind is associated with that association of the mind with the body is called birth this association of the mind with the body is called death so the body is inert body is a machine so the mind connects with that so mind itself is also inert but mind gets powered by consciousness atma okay so one place to other place what moves is the mind the association of mind with body is called birth this association of mind with body is called death so the atma is never born never die but mind says i i am born when the i is referring to atma mind claims falsely claims that i am atma you understand so the atma never born never dies is the mind which travels from one body to other body how many bodies millions of bodies mind will never be satisfied with any body it takes some body experience something and then go to another body the mind is in continuous motion from body to body the birth is association of the mind with the body death is dissociation of the mind with the body this you experience in your day to day life when you when you wake up in the morning this body comes into picture physical body you experience the world okay so when you go to dream the mind leaves this physical body it takes another body dream body and experience the dream world it is the mind which takes the dream body atma is just observer sakshi witness okay so the mind is why my mind, mind takes a dream body mind is not satisfied with the waking world waking experience so it starts fulfilling that dream in the dream so somebody in the waking world you wanted to shout at somebody you could not in the dream you shouted at that person <laughs> or somebody else <laughs> so mind is trying to fulfill its experiences through the body creating new bodies mind is never satisfied so it keeps on creating bodies minimum of millions of bodies atma you there's no birth and death but you confuse there is a superimposition which is happening on the mind and atma okay so mind the birth and death of the body is superimposed on the the self by the mind the eternal nature of the self is superimposed on the body so like that you constantly the superimposition is happening mind is the one who is playing the trick you understand so the mind keeps on traveling one body to other body one body to other body how many lifetimes millions of lifetimes so millions of lifetimes you take new bodies born die but finally one death happens the final death is death of the mind the death of the mind is called atmajnana okay when the mind recognizes its true nature where is this i thought coming from the i thought comes from atma okay so then the mind becomes mratamana or dead mind that is the final death and that is called enlightenment or lib mukti mind has to become dead that's why it's called manolaya and manonasha is there mind becomes silent for some temporarily and manonasha happens when atmatnan happens so that way ramana marshi asks the question sri ramana marshi his only teaching is find out who you are the thought i is saying i am the atma i you are mistaking yourself with the thought you are not the thought thought is an object so when you don't give energy to the thought by associating the thought that mind dies 
this is the final death and this final death is called atmadnana adhyamukti this smart guy nachiketa is asking me about a death question not the regular death he is asking about the final death when the death of the mind is called mano nasha when the mano nasha happens the person is a jeevan there is a atma there is an enlightenment you realize yourself i am the birthless deathless infinite self atma nanu nanembudu nanalla ee deha mana buddhi nanalla sachidananda atma shivananu nane shivoham 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 when you realize i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the intellect i am pure consciousness then there's a freedom so otherwise the self mistakes itself for the body mind there's a superimposition which is happening atma is never born never dies so nachikita is not asking a question about birth and death of the birth and death of atma nachikita is asking the question of the final death of the mind what will happen after that he is asking that means he is asking a question related to liberation enlightenment jivan mukti see the intelligence of the question and those who people who those who can't understand this question okay have translated this question in a very different way if you read various commentaries people say what will happen after death so that is not the question what will happen after death with the very very commentary where somebody is read what will happen to death that question itself is not there because he has already died and he knows he is he is there so he cannot ask that question he is asking a question what will happen after final death <laughs> he is asking about the jivan mukti and show me the path for jivan mukti is asking 